A Democratic member of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Senator Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut. Senator, first off, there's going to be an FBI investigation. If there is, there are facts uncovered in that investigation, are you willing to change your mind given those facts? Uh, Katie, I oppose this nominee based on his judicial philosophy, his out of the mainstream views, for example, on women's reproductive rights and health care and an imperial presidency and workers and consumer rights and environmental protection. So the absence of highly incriminating evidence won't persuade me to be for him. But there is a important jury here, which is a number of my Republican colleagues, a small number, who are deeply concerned about the credible, serious allegations made by this courageous survivor of sexual assault to insinuate that she's part of a democratic left-wing conspiracy or that she has come forward as a puppet or pawn could be made only by someone who never saw her yesterday and contrast her demeanor with the rageful, bitter, self-pitying kind of partisan attitude that we saw on the part of Judge Kavanaugh, I deeply feared as a citizen and as someone who has cases right now before the court that he would be a threat to the impartial and objective administration of justice. What about your fellow Democratic colleagues who are who are have not said whether or not they support him and have been undecided uh, based on his judicial philosophy and are waiting for more information. I'm looking at Senator Joe Manchin, Senator Heidi Heitkamp, uh, Democrats who are who are in red states and who are up in competitive reelections at the moment. Do you think that anything that the FBI finds could move them to a yes? The FBI has to interview Mark Judge, who was allegedly in that room when the alleged assault took place and was laughing along with Brett Kavanaugh as he allegedly assaulted Dr. Blasey Ford. Now, Mark Judge is only one of the witnesses that has to be interviewed, and Dr. Blasey Ford is only one of the survivors whose allegations have to be investigated. There are credible, serious allegations from Julie Swetnick and Deborah Rodriguez, and they are current, to use the term that the Republican leadership used in asking that there be a reopening of the background check. So whether my colleagues will be affected by it depends on what is found. But there are such serious allegations here and a number of witnesses who have facts that clearly need to be explored. And just one more point. We know that the truth will come out. Eventually, the truth has a way of finding itself in the public realm. My Republican colleagues will be harshly judged, in fact, condemned by history. If they vote for this confirmation, and we learn afterward that these allegations are true, and I think they are now aware of it. So yes, they will be affected by this investigation. Senator, I want to play a moment, um, a piece of Senator Graham's, um, um, of what Senator Graham said yesterday during the hearings about what he believes the Democrats are doing. Let me play it. This is going to destroy the ability of good people to come forward because of this crap. Your high school yearbook. You have interacted with professional women all your life, not one accusation. You're supposed to be Bill Cosby when you're a junior and senior in high school. And all of a sudden you got over it. It's been my understanding that if you drug women and rape them for two years in high school, you probably don't stop. Senator, what, do you, what did you think when you heard Senator Graham say that? Uh, frankly, I thought it was also angry and bitter and over the top. And the reason is that these women have come forward knowing they have everything to lose, nothing to gain. They've done it independently without any encouragement or guidance from Democratic senators, so far as I know. And what's most important is that others will volunteer for public service. Not 
every justice nominee is going to have these problems. In fact, the last one, Neil Gorsuch, had no hint or scintilla of a problem in this regard. There is something here, a pattern, that needs to be investigated. And I made reference to these comments this morning in the Judiciary Committee. My hope is that we can now come together because we ought to agree that survivors of sexual assault need to be embraced and encouraged to come forward. This woman has endured public shaming, character assassination, threats to her family. My heart goes out to Judge Kavanaugh's family for what they have endured personally in terms of the threats. But this woman, Dr. Blasey Ford, and others who come forward need to be encouraged because, as you know, one out of every three American women are survivors of sexual assault at some point in her life. And yet it remains one of the most unreported of crimes in this country. I think Dr. Blasey Ford gave us a teaching moment. Senator, She's a um, teacher. one other thing for you. Uh, a federal judge has just ruled that congressional Democrats' lawsuit, which you have signed on to, um, alleging Trump's private business is violating the Constitution, that that lawsuit can proceed. Um, what do you think? The name of the lawsuit, Katie, is Blumenthal versus Trump. I'm the lead plaintiff. I organized it. I'm enormously gratified and excited that the court has held that members of Congress have legal standing to enforce the chief anti-corruption provision in the United States Constitution. We're saying to the president, under the Constitution, you must come to Congress for consent if you accept payments, benefits, gratuities from foreign governments, which he has done repeatedly with impunity. Now we have the standing to proceed with our case. It is a real milestone. Senator Richard Blumenthal, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, Katie. Hello, YouTubers. If you're watching this, it means you've checked out our channel, so thank you. Now do me a favor. Subscribe by clicking on that button down there. Click on any of the videos to watch the latest interviews and highlights from MTP Daily and MSNBC. You can get more Beat the Press content every morning in the First Read newsletter. If you're tired of content that you don't know anything about where it came from, you don't have to have that problem with us. NBC News, MSNBC, MTP, and the Meet the Press mindset right here for you on YouTube. Subscribe now.